Pain is the only path to gain, as the saying goes. But most of us are not brave enough to embrace real pain in order to gain tangible benefits. But that's not how Candida Kanyondo operates. At 85 years old, this old woman is waiting for the time she will finish to build her house, to which she had been building daily for the past 10 years. Every brick you see on this house and all its blocks are a result of relentless work for the past 10 years by this old woman and her efforts seem to gather pace. As the construction work reaches the final phase, but how did this woman manage to build this house alone? Where did she get the skills to build the house? And why is she so determined to finish it sooner? This is an unbelievable story. Candida doesn't know anything related to comfort of life, as she had never had a good life since she was young. She had thought her marriage to be the last escape, but after the death of her husband, the circle returned to haunt her again as her life's condition deteriorated even further. But throughout her struggle, she had had a dream and as time ticked by, she was afraid that she was going to die without achieving her dreams. Thus, she had to take a hard decision to start building this house some 10 years ago. I had to persevere. It's been 10 years since I started to build my house, but I never get tired of it. It's a lot of work and I'm getting older, but I have decided that I'll use every inch of my strength to build this house, no matter the scenario. I'm only eagerly looking forward to the day I'll finish this house. Every morning when she wakes up, Candida goes to bring wood and other materials she needs to complete her house. At this point, she's trying to build the roof and she uses this ladder to climb up and fix the wood as she prepares to finally complete the whole structure. One day in the past, she fell down from this ladder and almost died. But that incident never deterred her sheer determination to finish up what she had started. Mukairwanda Yvette has been her neighbor and helper for the past decade and remembers what happened the day Candida fell off from her ladder. She fell from the ladder and almost died. At that time, she was trying to nail two pieces of wood together. We took her in and massaged her until she recovered. But we were surprised to see her come back again to continue her work despite the incident. We had thought that such an incident would terrify her, but she was never bothered even for once. At her age, she's too old to climb a ladder or carry out physical intensive activities. But she doesn't seem ready to relinquish her dream. Many people have tried to stop her from engaging in tenacious physical work, but she has refused to listen to them. Ever since she was young, Candida had wished to build her own house. Only that she couldn't have such an opportunity. But as she grew older, with no source of income and her age advancing so rapidly, she decided to start this project regardless of her condition. That's why she's never ready to listen to anyone who will try to discourage her ambitious goal. I have had this idea since I was young. I have always wished to live in my own house, but because of life circumstances, I never had that opportunity until I was 75 years old. That's when I decided to do it no matter the situation and I started to build it alone. In life, I have learned that there is no perfect time. I have waited for so long but never managed to build my house as I had planned. That's why I decided to do it no matter how little resources I had financially, mentally and physically. I'm happy with my efforts so far. Most
most of Candida's neighbors are surprised by her skills to build this house on her own, given that they have never seen her on a construction site learning how to build a house. But Yvette has heard that Candida has amassed this knowledge ever since she was young. We have heard that she had this initiative since she was a young girl. It is also rumored that she has some knowledge about construction, which she got from her brothers who worked in the construction sector back in the days of colonization. That's why she got the skills she's using now. Yvette has devoted her life to taking care of this old woman after being pressed by how much she has vowed to improve her life despite her challenges. She says young people have enormous lessons to learn from this old woman, especially in this time when more people are afraid of the future. As young people, we have so many things to learn from her. First of all, she has demonstrated that knowledge is power. If she didn't know how to construct a house, she would never have embarked on this mission. Secondly, we can learn that no matter the circumstances, we always have to strive forward in order to achieve our dreams. Most of the young people are afraid of life and what it will bring in the future. But this woman, despite her age, is still fighting in order to improve her life. We should also learn that we can achieve a lot, especially if we are willing to devote ourselves to the work and face our challenges. Candida is still struggling to complete her house despite her sheer determination. As you can see, she's so poor and doesn't have the financial capability to buy materials that are needed to complete her house. She's asking people to help her get needed financial capabilities so that she can achieve her dreams. What I'm asking everyone who is saying is to help me complete my building. As you have seen, I'm too old and have been building this house for too long. Additionally, I'm a widow and I struggle to fit for myself. I need the support of people so that I can finish what I have started. As you can see, Candida has done all she could to achieve her dream, but you can help her to improve her condition through givinglife.com with links found in description and pinned in top comments. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.